Back now on Try Today, let's talk about something very important. Nursing education, careers in nursing, what could be more important than that? And we have an important person with us who's been a nurse for a long time. She doesn't look like she's been a nurse for a long time, but she's been around. And we welcome Allison Bedsall, Director of Nursing Education for Northern Regional Hospital. Thanks for all you do, and thanks for being here. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Um, now, let's talk about your nursing education program. How does that work? How does it benefit students? Bring me up to speed. Okay. Um, well, we were kind of already in a nursing shortage prior to the pandemic. Absolutely. You know, the aging baby boomers retiring, and the pandemic didn't help, probably worsened it. So um, another thing with a nursing shortage is, you know, you start losing nursing faculty. They're aging out and they're retiring. Right. So, so what, it's a double whammy. Because yes, you're losing, yeah. And you have to have faculty to help you produce more nurses. Right. So what we started doing is Surrey Community College is the local college in our area. So what we started doing is we offered the clinical, our staff nurses offered the clinical site and their time to be clinical instructors at the facility. Right. And that way the faculty could focus on the academic side at the college. I think that's just great. Yeah. Great relationship that you guys yes. have with, with the college and, and particularly at this time, as you mentioned. Now, how many, about how many students are involved in this program uh, right now and how many, I'm going to call them mentors, people mm -hmm. from your staff that mentor the young people and help them. Teach. What, what's, what's the balance there? It's probably, it's me and about eight or nine others of staff members that do this, and they work from all various areas, various years in nursing. They all have many years of experience, so it's great for these students. And then probably students in a given week doing their clinicals. Goodness, probably 50 to 70 students pass through a week. Right, great potential. Yep. That's so encouraging to hear that they're interested mm -hmm. in it, and now they can come to a system where you're partnered with a community college. Yes. You've got the mentors, the people really know what they're doing, working on the, yes. you know, in the trenches, and, and, and can really teach them. And I guess that brings me to this: Do you, and, and this is going to be sound kind of mm -hmm. braggy when you answer mm -hmm. the question. I understand it, but is this sort of you think a good model for any kind of uh, hospital to start up a program like this? I think so. You know, even though we're a small rural hospital, I mean, this program is just. It's phenomenal. It's even turned out better than I imagined. I can't imagine this not being, you know, being in place for a long, long time and others also doing this as well because the nursing shortage and lack of faculty, it's all across the nation. Yeah, and it takes, but look, it takes some time and extra effort. Uh, and I know you guys are putting in the mm -hmm. extra time and I really appreciate that. What are the goals going forward that you have for? Uh, the hospital's program in this regard for how you team up with the college. What, where is it going in the future? I hope we continue to to do this program and continue to grow and continue this partnership on in past my retirement even. Right. But we don't want you to retire. Yeah. Right time, so. <laughs> All right. Now suppose. Uh, let me let me ask you a personal question. Now suppose uh, a young person comes up or any mm -hmm. age any, any come up to say, "Hey, I'm thinking about a career in nursing." What do you tell them? I tell them definitely. One good thing about nursing is there are so many different avenues to go in. It's just the sky's the limit. Yeah. I mean, it's just so many areas, avenues, education, and different ways you Private can go. Private practice. Yes. Uh, operating room, emergency yes. room, you know, different different specialties like that. And then to stay on a personal track here, we have a few seconds left. I'm just curious since you and I have never met before mm -hmm. now. Uh, why did you want to become a nurse? Did somebody sort of suggested or a teacher or a parent or we had honestly we had a career fair at our school really and I had wanted to go I had thought about pharmacy but I was helping in a local pharmacy in my hometown just kind of shadow and I thought that's not for me I like to talk too much <laughs> I don't know if I could be back here behind the glass and right. a career at a career fair two nurses been nurses for years talked to me and I thought that is awesome and I love helping people How about and that? I love talking to people so yeah you had, it's just you, grown you, you from had, that. You showed up and got surprised by yes. sort of two mentors right there that you didn't yes. expect. I just think that's great. They and just that, made it sound awesome. That proves the point mm -hmm. that the time that you're putting in and your staff is putting in to mentor these young people are going to make a difference. Thanks for doing yes, this. Thank you. Up on screen yep. choosenorthern.org is the website choosenorthern.org. Please check that out. We'll be right back after this.